Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks and another so-called news roundup. More a collection of events that are propelled or beamed into the public's consciousness by a secret society run establishment and their hypnosis team of mainstream media platforms. All in order to control the public and manipulate them by getting them to react and therefore herding them to where they want them to be. So anyway... You know, I'm not crazy on doing these news things anymore, but let's have a look at what people are being told and let's try and reinterpret it for what it really is. So in the UK, there is a new prime minister. This is the puppet tyrant vessel that is used as a speaking head in front of TV cameras to say stuff, basically like a newsreader. Do they actually make any decisions or are they just told what to do by the money lenders? Boris Johnson has now gone and is replaced by Liz Truss. Who is this entity here? I don't know. Uh, and nobody should really care either, as they are just another World Economic Forum stooge. It was either this one or Rishi Sunak, both lifeless, soulless entities who have WEF pages. It makes no difference who is in this position. Liz Truss, she could be a woman, could be a man, it could be a talking kangaroo or an android. It makes no difference because they're just going to follow the plan dictated to them by their masters. These are puppets. Whoever the PM is, it is totally, totally irrelevant. It is literally a pantomime. We've even got the audience participation booze for the next tyrant in charge here. Shame on... I can't even be bothered to boo. They are not even worth that effort. They are not even worth the expenditure of energy to boo them. Don't deserve any engagement whatsoever. Boris Johnson, he made his final speech as Prime Minister yesterday before he left. And strangely enough, he makes a reference to masonry. And I'm sure he knows all about masonry. Great, solid masonry on which we will continue to build. That clip is a bit cut off at the start, but you get the picture. He said, together we have laid foundations that will stand the test of time, whether by taking back control of our laws or putting in vital new infrastructure, great solid masonry on which we will continue to build together. Yeah, yeah, right. Great solid masonry. Freemasonry. Is that what he's hinting at here? What's the Freemason saying? Order out of chaos. You've laid foundations. What? Solid foundations for what? A manufactured demolition to cause chaos? To bring about a new world order? <sighs> Here we see the BBC report on Boris leaving, which men mentions him saying laying a foundation of solid masonry. And oh look, who is the political editor? Chris Mason. Yeah, would you believe it? Another Mason. Chris Mason. It says here, defiant Boris Johnson leaves office, but not the stage. The stage. I told you, you're watching a theatre show. These are actors. He's not leaving the stage. Oh no, he's probably going to get wheeled out again to talk crap and look down his nose at the people who still follow and believe this utter charade that they put on. Is there anyone out there who still believes they live in a democracy? Really? There shouldn't be. Talking of, talking of shows, talking of theatre, fakery and actors, here we see... This morning, yeah, it should be called this dross, this pinnacle of material worship of vacuous airheads and drivel has added energy bills to their spin the wheel game. Spin the wheel is part of the show where they claim that people, members of the public, uh, are rung by them somehow and Philip Schofield so it says here, Philip Schofield is worth £12 million. It says, multi-millionaire Philip Schofield spins a wheel for poor peasants to see if they can get a chance now of having their energy bills paid for for four months. While Peekaboo Holly Willoughby 
On the other side of the wheel feigns concern and pity for the poor peasant man. OK, sure, here we go. So we've got, we've got, we'll pay your energy bills. We've got a thousand pounds as well. So this is energy bills, I think, for four months. Oh, so how are your, how, how are your energy bills? Are you a bit worried about it all? Oh, major. Yeah. Are you? Major. Yeah. Are you? I've got, I've got one of these prepayment meters and it's absolutely murder. Oh, God. Right, well, let's, oh, God. Right, well, let's hope it lands on one of those then. So, round and round it goes, where it stops, no body. It's your energy bill! Oh my god, thank we're, you. We're paying. Notice the clown music in the background and the guy on the phone. I've got one of these uh, prepayment meters and it's absolutely murder. Did, I mean, did they pick this guy because he sounds like a cockney geezer, maybe down on his luck? Is he for real? I'm not saying he isn't, but you know, you never know, do you? This is mockery of the public. I mean, all of these TV shows where they give away stuff. I've never known anyone who has won anything from a TV show from ringing in over the years. Come to think of it, I've never seen anyone say online that they've won something, you know, on social media. You'd think they would, wouldn't you? You'd think you might have come across it somewhere that they've won something by ringing into a show, ITV or wherever. Do they still charge money to ring into these things? I don't know because I don't watch toxic crap like this. Didn't Ant and Deck years ago, didn't their show get into trouble for fraud over phone-ins? A rigged phone-in votes competition, I believe? Anyway, yeah, I mean, whatever next for the spin the wheel. Maybe they can put cancer treatment on it next. Maybe they could do a homeless spin the wheel special. Win yourself a cardboard box to sleep in the streets. Signed by Philip and Holly. Now this show, as crap as it is, as vacuous celebrity drivel worshipping turd of a show it says here it gets one it gets one million viewers per day you know which is not like massive but it's big enough it's big enough you know this show exists because people watch it you know stuff like this to a certain extent exist or remain to be because a large number of the public support it by continuing to watch it it's kind of sad and they reward their viewers by dumbing them down even more and mocking them. I'm pretty confident that people watching my videos don't watch this trash, but still there are lots that do. And you know, for those people, you're gonna kind of get what you deserve. And that's, at the moment, trash entertainment that dumbs you down and mocks you, okay? That's enough of me moaning, keep vigilant, don't allow yourself to be deceived by the media. Use your discernment and keep the faith. And thanks for listening. Come, if you haven't already, come and subscribe to hugotalks.com website where you will then be notified of all video uploads and not have to rely on third-party platforms letting you know when I've got a video up. Okay, see you later.